Well, obviously, mental health is is a, is, is a massive area uh, in rugby. Whether or not that's you know through you know depression or or no, guys in concussion and all all those different types of things. So there's a lot of ways in which you can relate sport in, in business as well. Um, a lot of people they have to go through a lot of different factors that do, does affect their mental health. So it's just it's not it's not turning a blind eye to it. It's actually acknowledging it, accepting it, and actually finding out ways in which they help and improve people's lives. I'm not I'm not actually. A Shame to say this too much. Um, obviously, anyone who's known sort of like my history of well, when I moved to Seoul, um, you know, moving from Harlequins, uh, from living on a Sunday to, to moving to Manchester on a Wednesday, and my life sort of suddenly changed pretty quickly. So, um, having moved to, to Seoul in, in, in three days, um, not knowing anyone from Manchester, not really even being in the city, um, and then getting an injury within the first couple of weeks, I'm, I'm a person who can't quite likes to bottle up my own emotions and try and deal with things myself. But actually meeting Mick for the first time when I first came to sell and I was struggling a little bit in terms of, you know, first it was very cold up here, which was something that I wasn't used to, but just getting around and not knowing many people and dealing with injuries and stuff, just having, you know, two or three chats with Mick, which, you know, enabled me to sort of open up my own feelings about how I was feeling about things for how long were 20 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour ever so often actually really and it helps me looking back at it now to make that transition so much easier um, and I think a lot of the times especially with sports like boxing um, and rugby and those sort of physical sports it's quite a natural sport so no one ever really likes to show it's times of weakness um, but it's very important to actually understand and, and accept actually how important mental health is actually to, to someone and how it actually helps with performance. From a playing point of view, I think it's just that next job mentality. Um, you know, it's just like being on the field, you know, you make a mistake, it's the next job. From, 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 from my experiences now, you know, I've got injured, but it's that next job. What can I do next to, to, to be better? What can I do next to improve myself? What can I do next off the field that can make me a better person when I come back onto the field? Uh, make me a better player. So in, I, I get, I'm getting in a business environment, you know, when you have got setbacks in business, what can you do next to, to learn from those mistakes and, and improve it and make sure you're, you're, you're better in the future. So in that way, I can sort of relate to it a bit, yeah.